In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a MOF transition in PowerPoint and here I have taken the example of PDCA that is plan, do, check and act. So you can see here, I've added one uh, shape called the plan here and you can add some the text plan and some detailed text here, the title and the detailed text along with the icons. When I click, it will move to the next one, do and then you can see here after the plan, the do will come, then comes the check and the act and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any light color background then go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle click it here and go to the shape format here i'm going to make the height and width as 2.4 shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can use any light this tan color here all right then right mouse click go to the format shape and you can give some 3d effect here i can just go to the 3d rotation i can just scroll down and i can just choose this one which is the oblique like this and you can give some shadow effect if you want all right once this is done, I'm going to add one oval shape here. So go to basic shape, select the oval shape, drag the oval shape by holding the shift key. All right, maybe this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline shape, will make it black and make sure that put it in the center and then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the rectangle, draw one rectangle like this, all right and shape outline no outline shape fill again i'm going to make this as black and this one i'm going to add a text called plan center align make it white font if you want you can make it bold increase the size and put it in the center so this is my plan so now i'm just going to select this one hold the control shift key together and drag it down and this will be my plan this is do all right so here i'm going to add one more rectangle go to insert rectangle all right small rectangle i'm just going to add it here shape outline no outline again black let me just zoom in okay and then i'm going to add one triangle draw a small triangle again no outline and make it black and rotate this one you can see here i can just rotate flip horizontal and like this all right so this is my after the plan do will come after that one i'm going to add one more where i'm going to add check okay so this one also again i'm going to copy here make sure it is in the center all right now instead of here i'm going to bring this here okay first of all i'm going to rotate this one and i'm going to bring like this here you can see here again make sure it is in the center all right and then you have to do the similar thing then i'm just going to copy the both of these uh, shapes press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate bring this side and rotate it and put it here so you can see here like that you need to do plan do check and act where i've already cleared created like this can you see here this is plan do check and act so similarly you need to do the same thing here and one more thing which you need to do is you need to group it so first of all select this one this this and this and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one shape here same thing you need to do with this as well press ctrl g okay like that you need to do that one so i'm not going to spend time on creating this one i'm just going to use the one which i've already created so you can see here i've already created this one now i'm going to bring this aside all right again if you want you can just lighten this color okay like this light pink color now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one rectangle here all right where i'm going to add the details so shape outline make it no outline shape fill i can give any a purple color or any color of your choice okay 
then I'm going to insert four icons plan do check add so I'm just going to add some uh, random icons okay but when you are creating make sure that you choose the right icons for each option all right and this one I'm just going to make the height and width could be a 0.6 all right and make this as white and then I'm just going to put it here one by one okay like this and make sure that when I select all these icons with the help of the shift key go to the graphics format align and say distribute vertically so any spacing between this one will be equal okay so once this is done go to insert shapes and I'm going to duplicate this one first of all you can what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one and I'm going to duplicate this one before that one let me just add some text okay so here I will just say plan okay or if you want uh, without this one we can add the text here as well okay so let it be uh, a black color here and instead of this one I'm just going to add it here make it bold and increase the size so this is my plan all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this one one just say duplicate again duplicate four times I'm going to duplicate this one all right so one two three and four so this is my plan so go to insert shapes I'm going to add one small triangle shape outline no outline rotate you can see here I'm going to make it left 90 degrees and I'm going to cut this part okay so now I'm going to select this one and this one more shape and subtract so this is the plan all right so before that one let me just copy this one okay and then let me just do this one why am i doing that one let me just tell you okay so when i go here again i'm going to paste only this one and i'm going to bring this down and i'm going to cut that part here okay so let me just cut this one then comes here I'm going to cut this part all right let me just cut here and then comes the last one okay so again select this and this shape format merge and subtract so you can see here I've got plan do check and act so instead of first one I'm going to select the slide number two three and four that means here 10 11 12 go to the transition and select the morph transition so you can see here how it works so if I if I play you can see here how it is coming right this comes somewhat slow so what you can do it you can make it fast also for that you need to reduce the duration maybe to one so if I play again you can see it's coming fast here all right so this is the plan and here all those three things I'm going to move this out you can see here I'm going to move this out here only plan should come and here the do should come and these things should be out it should not be visible so if I play now you can see here how it is coming see plan and do okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some text here I'll just say equals LORM within brackets one some text for the plan and I'm just going to put it here all right any color of your choice you can just choose okay then next one I'm going to copy this and this control C come to this one control sorry Control V paste and bring this down here and this one I'm going to delete this one actually it should not be there at all okay here also let me just delete it and paste it and bring this down and then the last one again let me just delete this part paste it and bring this down because we don't have space so I'm just going to bring the text up something like this 
all right so let me just play now you can see here plan do check and act so again here in this one i'm going to move this out from the screen area and then the all four should be there so here only thing we need to do is change the title here plan this is do this is check okay and this is act so let me just zoom in let me just move this somewhat up so that i can change this one and act so let me just play now so this is plan do check and act and one more thing which i'm going to show you one small tip here when I'm selecting this one and this one, the, the, the transition is not that smooth. Okay, so for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one, go to the selection, selection pane here for this name, I'm going to change to two times exclamation mark and text. Okay, same name, I'm going to copy to the next one also to the next slide. I'm going to select this one. And I'm going to rename it then go on here the same thing I'm going to do and here the same thing I'm going to do so how it works now let me just show you see plan it's changing by itself you can see here do check and act